Which diamonds did I pull day one out of packs? And which cards did I buy out of the market to get my team off to a good start in ranked seasons? Let's get into it. What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV. And I just wanted to show you guys, basically, I pulled three diamonds. I was getting this question a lot, which diamonds did I pull? I pulled three diamonds on stream last night. If you guys want to go and watch the entire stream, it was seven hours long. I'm recording this video after the stream, so it's been a long night, that's for sure. But uh, if you want to go check that out, twitch.tv backslash movie gaming TV. It should be in like the previous streams uh, if you want to go check that out, that video out. Uh, yeah, so I pulled a couple diamonds and then I bought some out of the market. Uh, the diamonds that I pulled were I pulled Giancarlo Stanton, as you see up in left field. I pulled Brandon Phillips and I also pulled Anthony Rendon. Uh, the Giancarlo Stanton, I got him out of the packs that I got right at the launch of the game. Uh, the Brandon Phillips, uh, I pulled him out of these packs right here. Uh, I pulled him out of these packs right here. I had about a $75,000 bundle. And the reason I did that is because I was able to put my cards into the lineup from this pack. So I could like, there's kind of like a little bug in Diamond Dynasty. You can try to open and close the app and that should fix it. That's what their official standing is. If that's not working. Open up some packs and just put, when you open the pack, go to that card and put them in your lineup until you fill the entire lineup. Uh, bench, the lineup, the pitching, the bullpen. Uh, fill that up. You might be able to get past this like continue screen because there is a screen uh, over in this area where I think that's where it is. Where just like there's a tutorial at the beginning of the game that you need to go through. Anyways, these are the other cards that I bought. Uh, I was able to buy Aaron Judge off the market. He's been my best player by far so far. Uh, here's his stats. He's been unbelievable uh, so far for me. He's been hitting really, really well. He's got good speed. He's got a good arm. Um, his quirks, you know, he's got unfazed, dead red, breaking ball hitter, first pitch hitter, night player. So he's been uh, very excellent for me in right field. Now I have a video out already on the channel about the best creative player to make. I am making a power hitting shortstop. I go into uh, details of why you would want to do that this year. Uh, so I'm making that. That is my shortstop. Uh, Joe Torrey, very good card this year. I got him for 40K off the market. 95, 84, 80, 93. Uh, excellent. Pretty average defense, but good enough. Um, just a good starting catcher for like 40K. Uh, Joey Gallo is again a beast this year, especially early on uh, when that his vision is an 18. Uh, you can kind of see it to the side. Hey, somebody subscribed. Uh, you can see it to the side of me there. He still has 18 vision, but the PCI is still big enough early on, especially with the strike zone view. I have a new settings video out as well. If you guys want to, you, you know, if you need a reminder on the comp settings or if you're just playing the game <clears throat> for the first time this year, he does have first pitch hitter, but he's been an absolute beast. Uh, Gallo at first base has been playing pretty good defense over there as well. Now, my pitching staff, um, I'm going with Chris Sale, Clayton Kershaw, Kerry Wood. Um, I have Severino, and I have Carlos Martinez. These four have pitched. Kerry Wood has pitched pretty well for me. He's pitched one game, pitched very well. Back into the bullpen, I have Jansen Miller. I picked up Rodney for 12K. Um, definitely a very good uh, pitcher to have. Uh, I want to get Chapman, but I want to show you guys two things pretty quickly. Um I might have to sell uh, sale and Kershaw eventually. And um, if you go over to the team affinity and you go over to the reds, uh, you can get a very nice, a Roldis Chapman here. Uh, obviously he doesn't have much control, but it's a Roldis. Um, that's going to be a card you're going to want to have in your bullpen. If we go to the XP reward path, um, you guys can see here, I got to find the exact one here. Uh, so bear with me. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. So this is why I might have to sell Chris Sale because you're going to be able to get this left-hander for your bullpen. Excellent, excellent card. This is one of the 
best relieving cards that you can have is this Chris Sale. And you can't have two. I can't put Chris Sale in my pitching rotation twice, so I might have to sell him. He's been extremely effective as a starting pitcher, but I might have to figure out somebody else I'm going to pick up as a starting pitcher and because I'm eventually going to hit this and you pick three out of this uh, pack right here. And out of all these, honestly, the only ones that you're going to really want are <clears> – <throat> you're only really going to want – uh, this Chris Sale. The rest of them are kind of throwaway cards that aren't, you know, I, you don't need to even pick really the other two. Next thing I want to show you guys is the level 75 reward. Uh, out of these cards, I definitely want to get Clayton Kershaw. This is definitely the one I'm going to pick. So, again, I'm going to have to sell that other Clayton Kershaw eventually here once I hit that because he's... This is an absolute beast of a pitcher. Uh, this is on par with the immortal Clayton Kershaw card from MLB The Show 18. So I, I'm definitely going to go after that card. Uh, the other card, if you don't want that card, I would go after this Matt Kemp, 94-104, with a lot of speed. Uh, he's an excellent, excellent card to go after as well. So I will be going after that Kershaw, probably selling my other Kershaw. And, guys, that is my team so far. I do have some golds on the bench. Uh Cano uh, through um, Cano, Cespedes, Cabrera, Puig. Um, so that's who I do have on the bench right now. But uh, Kerry Wood has been good. If you're thinking about taking him with your pre-order diamond, he has been good. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to see the pack opening, twitch.tv backslash movie gaming TV. It should be right at the start of the video. I opened up a ton of packs. Just check that out over there. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm loving the game so far. These are pretty much the diamond cards that I've gone after so far. And um, I need to put out a hitting tips video today, a pitching tips video today. And then I'll be able to start editing uh, the gameplays from that Twitch stream. If you'd like to watch them in advance before they get edited, again, twitch.tv backslash movie gaming TV. Check the previous streams tab and they should be in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a bunch of fun playing the game uh, today on launch day. I had a bunch of fun streaming it and playing it last night. I appreciate all of your guys' support. Drop a comment down below with some of the pack polls that you guys had on day one. Uh, I'd like to see what you guys had have pulled. And also, if you guys want to tweet me pictures of um, and screenshots of any of the uh, players that you guys have pulled, put them or send them to me at Movie Gaming TV on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hitting tips coming up. Peace.